For today's video, we are going to talk about how to rewrite standard form to general form of equation of parabola and we are going to explain everything in details. On the given set of example, we are going to determine the coordinates of the vertex then write the equations in standard form. On example number 1, we have x squared equals 100 times quantity y minus 1. Since the given equation is written in the form of x minus h square equals 4a times quantity y minus k and to determine the vertex that is h and k so since we don't have h in our given our h that is 0 and k that is positive 1 so we are going to take the opposite sign of negative 1 so this will be our vertex and to write this one into general form let us have x square equals 100 times quantity y minus 1. Let us rewrite x square. 100 multiplied by y, that is 100 y. 100 multiplied by negative 1, that is negative 100. So let us move 100 y and negative 100 to the side of x square. So we have x square minus 100 y plus 100 equals 0. And this will be our answer. On example number 2, we have quantity x minus 2 square equals negative 4 times quantity y plus 3. And this time, the equation is written in the form of x minus h square equals negative 4a times quantity y minus k. So, to find the vertex, that is h and k. So, the value of h, that is 2, and k, that is negative 3. That is the opposite sign of positive 3. And this will be our vertex. And to convert this one into general form, let us write x minus 2 square equals negative 4 times quantity y plus 3. x multiplied by itself, that is x square. x multiplied by negative 2, that is negative 2x times the constant 2, that is negative 4x. Negative 2 multiplied by itself, that is positive 4. And then, negative 4 times y is negative 4y. Negative 4 multiplied by 3, that is negative 12. So let us move negative 4y and negative 12 on the other side of equation. So let us have x squared minus 4x. And then we have 4y plus 4 plus 12 equals 0. So let us combine like terms. Let us write x squared minus 4x plus 4y and 4 plus 12 that is 16 then equals to 0. And this will be our answer. On example number 3, we have quantity y plus 1 squared equals 18 times quantity x plus 2. Since the given equation is written in the form of y minus k square equals 4a times quantity x minus h the vertex that is h and k so the value of h that is negative 2 and k that is negative 1 so we are going to take the opposite sign of positive 2 and positive 1 and this will be our vertex and to convert this one to general form let us write quantity y plus 1 square equals 18 times quantity x plus 2 y multiplied by itself that is y square y multiplied by 1 that is 1y times the constant 2 that is 2y and 1 multiplied by itself that is positive 1 and then 18 times x is 18x 18 multiplied by 2 that is 36 let us move 18x and 36 on the other side of equation. So we have y square minus 18x plus 2y plus 1 minus 36 equals 0. So let us simplify. Let us write y square minus 18x plus 2y. 1 minus 36 that is negative 35 and then equals to 0. And this will be our answer. On number 4, 
we have y square equals negative 10 times quantity x minus 5. Since negative or 10 is negative, the equation is written in the form of y minus k square equals negative 4a times quantity x minus h. And the vertex that is h and k. So our h that is positive 5 and k that is 0 because we don't have k in our equation and this will be our vertex so let us write this one as y square equals negative 10 times quantity x minus 5 so we have y square and then negative 10 multiplied by x is negative 10x negative 10 multiplied by negative 5 is positive 50 let us move negative 10x and 50 to the side of y square so we have y square plus 10x minus 50 equals 0. And this will be our answer. On example number 5, we have quantity x minus 7 square equals 8 times quantity y minus 3 fourth. Since the given equation is written in the form of x minus h square equals 4a times quantity y minus k, to find the vertex that is h and k, so the value of h that is positive 7 and k that is 3 4 So this will be our vertex. And to write this one into general form, let us write quantity x minus 7 square equals 8 times quantity y minus 3 4 So we have x times x that is x square x multiplied by negative 7, that is negative 7x, times the constant 2, that is negative 14x. And se negative 7 multiplied by itself, that is positive 49. And then, 8 multiplied by y, that is 8y. 8 multiplied by 3 fourth, so let us have 8 multiplied by negative 3, that is negative 24, divided by Four, or we can divide this one, it will give us 6. Because 24 divided by 4, that is 6. So let us move 8y and negative 6 on the other side of equation. It will give us x squared minus 14x minus 8y plus 49 plus 6 equals 0. So we have x squared minus 14x minus 8y. 49 plus 6, that is 55 equals 0. And this will be our answer. On our last example, we have quantity y plus 3 square equals negative 12 times quantity x plus 1 half. So this time, the equation is written in the form of y minus k square equals negative 4a because 12 is negative, that's why we have negative 4a times quantity x minus h. And the vertex, that is h and k, so the value of h, that is negative 1 half. That is the opposite sign of positive 1 half. And then k, that is negative 3. And this will be our vertex. So let us rewrite this one as quantity y plus 3 square equals negative 12 times quantity x plus 1 half. So we have y multiplied by itself, that is y squared. y multiplied by 3, that is 3y, times the constant 2, that is 6y. And 3 multiplied by itself, that is 9. And on the other side, we have negative 12 times x is negative 12x. Negative 12 times 1 half, that is negative 12 over 2, or simply 6. And to simplify, let us move negative 12x and negative 6 on the other side of equation. It will give us y square plus 12x plus 6y plus 9 plus 6 equals 0. So let us combine like terms. Let us write y square plus 12x plus 6y 9 plus 6, that is 15, equals 0. And this will be our answer. So I hope you've learned from this video. Thank you so much for watching and God bless us all.